everybody. This is Norfolk Southern Rail Fanning up here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. As you can tell here, this is River Road right here, here in Swickley, Pennsylvania. Norfolk Southern will be approaching up through, uh, up through South 65, along 65. It goes all the way up to downtown Pittsburgh. Norfolk Southern will come really soon. As you can see on the left, they are building some new traffic lights, which is that way because the old ones were very old. And there they are. The ones that are hanging on the wires has been there for a very long time. Here he comes. And notice Norfolk Southern, all the way down in Beaver, Beaver, Pennsylvania, that there is a rail yard down there, which is here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Beaver is down North 65, and it goes all the long through 65. And now we are trying to catch up the Norfolk Southern and go into the Emsworth Locking Dams. And then notice Norfolk Southern also goes along the Ohio River. It also goes along from all the way from CSX up, up north 65. We'll take you into Beaver, Pennsylvania, uh, Industry, Pennsylvania, and then into the Ohio borderline, which will take you into East Liverpool, Ohio, Vila, West Virginia, which that's CSX, up through Steubenville, and then all the way up there. Uh, South 65 will take you all the way from Emsworth, uh, Ben Avon, Avalon, Bellevue. So yeah, and it goes approach into downtown Pittsburgh. It falls along 65. Real fantastic. And now we are here at the Emsworth Lock and Dams. Norfolk Southern has already come. But not the one that we just saw, that I just saw, we just saw when we were on Log 65. But after this train, the Norfolk oh, Southern will be coming. Now this is the Emsworth Lock and Dams, Norfolk Southern. This is the train that's going North 65, and it goes in. That, like I said, the 65 goes all the way up to Cincinnati, in and up to Indiana and whatnot. So it follows along the Ohio River. So then Norfolk Southern, I do not know where it's going, but all I know that the Emsworth Lock and Dams is a great place to rail fan because. You, uh, there's also, if anyone, boat fanners out there, you can look at boats that the locks go in. It's just like, uh, like, you, you do, you, like, go in and, like, it's kind of like the Erie Canal in Rochester, New York. So, yeah. Okay, so now you notice that I was standing, like, right on the other side of the railroad crossing. And I did, yes, I did a cross. Now, I have to say something after this video because this is a huge discussion. If you guys are rail fanners out there and um, some people or whatever you're crossing on railroad tracks, do not 
ever cross over railroad crossings when train already comes. If there's another train coming, you stop immediately. I know that how the train went all went already passed through, but still it is not safe to do so. So I will have to have a discussion and have a, uh, a long conversation when I uh, after this. But as you can see, this is the Norfolk Southern that we saw all the way from River Road in us uh, River Road in Swickley, Pennsylvania. Uh, that's where we just saw uh, the train went by there, and yeah. And also in Swickley, Pennsylvania, if you go underneath the Swickley Bridge, there's like a little doctor's office that my mom used to go to or, or my dad used to go to that it used to be a train station. So how cool do you think that is? I, I, I've i railed from there a couple times, so yeah. And I remember I was standing way too close to the railroad track. So you guys always, if you guys are rail faders, always stand back by when a train is coming or a crossing gate because it's very, very dangerous. You can get hurt slash killed in your trains. It's just like getting ran over by a car, but trains, but trains though. So as you can see, it's going to downtown Pittsburgh. Well, I don't know where it's actually going, but I think there's like a little rail yard down in downtown Pittsburgh, and it's kind of like near the McKees Rocks Bridge. And yeah, and also it's a great place to rail, rail fan. It's also the AC Hotels by Marriott, where if the train goes into the city and then makes a left, and it's right near an Amtrak station, the Pittsburgh Amtrak station. However, the Pittsburgh Amtrak station is not that nice. You can't really see trains when you're got, when you're waiting for your train. So I'm about to take you guys down there to the Amtrak station. I mean, you guys see the Norfolk Southern down in um, the AC Hotels by Marriott, so that's cool. And also, this is near the Avonworth Eagles Field. This uh, ra these railroad tracks which I used to go there when I was cheerleading. So yeah. So this is right near the Avonworth Eagles field. And also in, in McKee's Rocks, there's like a little uh, rail yard that's like a rail yard area that's not actually not a main lot. And also, before we end the video, go all the way up there. <laughs> Looking from the valley. If we go on this platform, you can see the view train going all the way to downtown Pittsburgh, which is right up there. 
And that will be a. That video you just saw was a rail fan video of the Emsworth Lock and Dams in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Norfolk Southerns, two of them went uh, north and then one went south. So here's this. The one that was going towards uh, south, or, or I think north, I think, uh, the Norfolk Southern that just passed by the first one, as you may know, I did cross the railroad tracks when the gate was down. However, I did not get killed. I did not get hurt. You see me, boom, we're fine. I know I don't do this normal stuff and stuff like that. If any one of those viewers are commenting, yes, it is very unsafe. Do not react to what I was doing because that was very dangerous. So, because my dad, I was looking behind, looking at him. He was like, he was nodding uh, his head like this. And I didn't realize I was uh, uh, like, I mean, I know how, you know, the train went by and just, and just already came, but there were two of them. So, I mean, there was one that was on the other side, but it wasn't near. But still, there could be another train coming. You would never know. This is why it's so important to look both ways. It's just like when you're crossing the street. Um, you, you, I would rather do that when you're crossing a train. Um, if you're in a rail cross, I mean, you don't have to. But, I mean, if the uh, lights were off, then, hey, you would have to stop and wait for the train to pass. So, anyways, what you were seeing this, I did cross it. I did not get hurt. I did not get killed. I did not... Ever, look, everything's fine. My legs are fine. Nothing. <laughs> the, the, it's okay. It is all right, everybody. And I know it's definitely not okay to cross a railroad tracks when gates are down. When you see them, you should always stop what you're doing. When you're driving, you're walking, whatever the situation you be. Please do not cross the railroad tracks when gates are down. Because this is very serious. If, and, I, and I may know some other YouTubers out there that I watch, like, they do whatever they want to do. They, you know, want, they probably want to kill themselves and trains and they want to, you know, cross over. They can just do all the things. And I don't react to those. Heck, no, I don't react to those. If you see any YouTubers reacting to doing this or, like, messing around or trespassing on the, or any, any, any personal area of railroad tracks... Do not react to that because it is unsafe. It could maybe uh, get you a fine. It could get you into jail. It could, it, whatever the situation so be. So yeah, guys, I just want to make this quick video that, yes, I did. It, I did not mean to. And I feel really upset about that. Now, the, I put a disclaimer on there to show you guys how I actually, like, I'm trying to teach you guys any out there who, you know, if anyone's a uh, rail fan, I mean, sure, all the rail fanners do if you're going to see a train, you know the instructions are. However, do not, do not cross over a railroad tracks when gates are down. It is a serious compilation. You could get, you, you never know what you can do. You can get hurt, slash killed, injured, hospital station, whatever the situation could be. So, yeah. Here's some instructions when it, to be safe on uh, when you're rail fanning or crossing over railroad tracks. So obviously the first one was the when the crossing gates are down, you stop and then wait until the train goes by. Second of all, walk in the same thing when you're driving. That's the same thing when you're crossing over railroad tracks. The third, do not walk on railroad tracks. I've seen some a lot of kids or people walking on railroad tracks that are not supposed to be. I mean, I did saw that, I think it was in Rochester, I saw it, Rochester, New York. And I saw some people were like walking on the railroad tracks. I think it was a sidewalk and it really isn't, It it's not. You can get hurt and killed when you're doing that, whatever the situation could be. Number four, always respect the railroad, the railroad tracks property. You can rail fan whatever you want. Do not cross over railroad tracks, trespassing on their tracks. Cross over, do not stop in the middle of the tracks. 
if your car was actually broken, a motorcycle, bike, whatever the situation could be, then it's broken, leave it there. Or with a bike, I would rather take it out. Because I saw a video on the New York City subway that someone ha uh, put a bike in the railroad tracks. I think it was maybe an accident or something. Or I don't know. And it caught on fire. So I would rather if your bike is broken, it's on the tracks, move it out. Get out of the tracks. If your car is stuck, like a flat tire, a truck, whatever the situation could be, exit your vehicle immediately. Because you don't want to get hurt or killed. You got to exit immediately. Because if this wouldn't happen, you would end up dying and it wouldn't be good. So, it, I mean, it can get into a, a car accident. It can, like, crash your vehicle, whatever not. But you just got to have to deal with it. Because there's no situation could be when trains are coming and crashing it. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that rail fan. A little, little good rail fan uh, video today. Except, did cross over the rail tracks. I, I apologize. This is why I want to make this video to tell you guys, I did not mean to. I know it's very, very, very unsafe. Because even though if the train could like, if it, that train already left, and that's just, okay, you think it's the only one, there could be other trains coming. And then when you're crossing. So you do not cross when the gates are down. Ever. Ever in your life. So yeah, but still, I hope you enjoy that rail fan video. Just want to make this really quick video to tell you guys never, ever cross over railroad tracks when doing this. This is a warning and disclaimer. So thanks for watching. I, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoy. Like my shirt here. Subscribe if you're new. Comment, like. Um, check out any video on my uh, check out any video on my YouTube channel. That's it. Norfolk Southern Train. Okay, guys, so now continue to rail fan. Yeah, do not ever cross railroad tracks when gates are down. If the gates are up, cross. Oh, no, it's going from that way. Okay, so this is the Norfolk Southern in Swickley, Pennsylvania on River Road. And also, this is a really cool tracks because obviously we got lights. We got uh, yellow lights that will tell you you cross over the railroad tracks or red do not cross. Here he comes, Norfolk Southern going to approach him to downtown Pittsburgh. Also, this road is kind of really dangerous too. I should make notice that there is railroad track, or like the railroad tracks are like the road is kind of a little bit narrow, but there are people. There's like stoplights, and over on the cross where the trains come in is Route 65. However. Some people cross over railroad tracks. Stop. They stop over there. I just feel like it's safer to so people to cross or stop, uh, like stop up the traffic plate behind the railroad crossing gates. So I, I mean, it, I, I show a, a video clip that time. So yeah. So here comes the Norfolk Southern. This is also a rail fan time with my papa. My papa came from Rochester, New York, upstate New York, and he came to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and to come and visit. Also known as my Nana, too.
This was Norfolk Southern Railroad up here in River Road in Swigley. How will we go up to the next rail fan time? Norfolk Southern arriving in Swigley, Pennsylvania. It came from River Road. This was the next day. I was going to the doctor's office for a little checkup because I had a little cold and whatnot. So I, ha I had to come to the doc, go to the doctor real quick. So, hey, why not Norfolk Southern, a little rail fan when we are uh, driving out here on Route 65? Yes, I'm sure it's great. And, and funny thing, my mom thought at the end of that, the, the end of the uh, railroad or the end of the uh she thought that the train was moving by itself with no locomotive. Low. <laughs> but no, it, it's a, just, a, they had, had nothing freight on it and whatnot. Now we're up here in Swickley. This is right near the doctor's office where I hear that I was going to go for a little, uh, a little, uh, to check because I had a little cold recently. So, hey. And we weren't ready yet, so while well, while well, a little real fan time just for me. And also on the other side, obviously CSX is on the other side of Ohio River by Coriopolis, Pennsylvania. This train is going really slow. And also the train actually stopped and made a loud thump. Listen to this. It was a loud thump, but however, I did not catch it on camera. Not yet. Beautiful Valley of Sprickly by a Lafayette and Norfolk Southern train. Okay.